Hello all, in this video I'll be talking about the domain name system which is also called DNS. Okay, now the notes I've already given, passed you the notes, okay, so you all have the written material, you can go through it. Alright, so let us now quickly look at what is a DNS with the help of this particular example. Now DNS, uh, the full form is domain name system. Alright, so we know that uh, there are different set of web pages and each set of web pages belong to a, diff a particular domain okay and if a client if a person tries to access a web page then he has to mention the web address okay where he has to end uh, uh, where he has to mention which domain does the web page belong to now there is this um, uh, entire a uh, good amount of web pages they are all stored in server okay now let us try and understand this particular uh, uh, structure which is also like your tree structure okay where you have this root and then we have the different servers now there are uh, there is a huge number of web pages they are all stored in different servers okay and depending on the clients requests the pages are uh, taken from the different server belonging to the different levels and then it reaches to the uh, client requesting it the machine which is requesting for that particular web page okay so uh, so what happens is that the naming the naming of uh, the different web pages in their domains is done with the help of DNS okay so it is an application layer protocol which defines okay how the process which are running uh, in the different system okay they can communicate among each other and how the page is requested and how the page is um, transferred from one level to <coughs> another all right so let us quickly see this so this is a client requesting okay this is a client requesting a page and then that uh, page okay first it is look at this numbering okay number one so it goes to the local name server now server also belongs to different levels so the localized server so if that page is not there then it goes to a higher level server which is your uh, shown by this step two and then further if it is not there from the root name server then the root C is that this particular web page belongs to another server of a different category so it passes it to the intermediate name so different types of server here okay but the user is actually re requesting it is written here may not know authoritative name server okay so it so with the help of these intermediate servers it is passing the request and the request flows till it reaches that authoritative name server so why all these it goes and after step 4 you will see that that web page is found in this particular server with this machine and then from 5 to 6 to 7 and to 8 so it goes, comes back okay it fetches that web pages and that fetches flows from this these uh, servers and comes to the machine requesting it okay so all this is done with the help of DNS okay it checks how the process runs on different system and how the message is being passed okay and uh, we'll also look at this particular system uh, as how to how does it name the different domains okay so we'll go to the next page let us quickly look at the different um, properties all right so as we have seen in that uh, structure that it is a tree structure also called directory if you remember directory also it belongs to that uh, kind of structure all right so it is a directory service all right that provides a mapping between the name of the host on the network and its numerical address so the name of the host host will be given like w here you can see uh, www dot admins dot sc sc sorry www dot sc dot in if you write it maps that name of the host onto the numerical address now numerical address is you you all know is the ip address okay so that mapping when the user types the url in his uh, home machine in the client machine and how that name is being mapped to the ip address that mapping is achieved with the help of dns okay so it's a directory service and the next thing is and because it does all the mapping and going to the server fetching the web pages it is helpful for the function of the internet internet is totally that you ask for a web page and you get the web page okay so that is done with the help of dns the, <coughs> then we know that in the tree structure we'll see again okay it's a tree it's like a tree structure where the domain name is there and uh, 
they will follow this format in which the domain name is a sequence of symbols and then you'll see dots specified by dots we'll see that diagram soon okay then also it is a service that translates the domain name into as we've already mentioned it changes that alphabetical domain name to ip address because eventually it is the ip address which is uh, help us to identify the machine which machine is asking for which server okay so uh, and uh, for us it is difficult to remember the ip address so that is why to make it user friendly we have the uh, names the domain names okay uh, and then from the domain names the dns help us generate ip address and there they are giving the example where admins okay that ip address is given and how the admins this particular domain name with the help of dns it is mapped to the ip address and hence uh, the mapping uh, then the web pages of send admins can be accessed all right so all that is possible with the help of dns system now again we look at dm uh, so we all know it is a tcp ip protocol uh, which can be used in different pl platforms different uh, operating system okay and it is now again uh, as you were talking about the different um, uh, uh, division the categories we'll now look at the division how the domain name is divided into three basic section all right we have generic then country and inverse domain all right now first of all see look at this diagram uh, the tree structure we were talking about the domain name is divided okay the names are divided into three categories we have the inverse generic country now let us quickly look at the first is your generic okay generic is um, according to the general behavior for example all the commerce website they will have this extension dot com all the organization one that will have this edu all our educational uh, websites will have this data so base depending on the general uh, behavior generic behavior it is they these kind of domain is termed as generic domain okay so each node so here we have the root node and then we have the individual nodes okay and they have their own name like here we have com org edu all that okay then as we can see three alphabets are being used okay character labels and these label and looking at the uh, label you will know what type does it belong so that is the first category generic domain then let us quickly look at the next one which is also very obvious country domain depending on or oh, this was the pre, uh, this example is of the previous one okay so you can see here again now look, let us look at the country domain country domain that means uh, which the web pages belong to which particular country that will be known by the extension so dot uk is uh, united kingdom so all that okay so here see the number of characters has decreased earlier it was two uh, three and now for country domain you can use two character country abbreviation that is country domain okay this example is the previous one all right so here you'll see the three generic domain examples all right and then further inside edu we have this folder directory okay further this directory so the directory service and then if you are asking for a page which happens in this directory this is the uh this is the uh this is how you will access that web pages okay you have to mention the different levels in the domain and lastly the name of the generic domain all right then next we have um the third category which is called inverse domain now here uh, what does it mean so all this time it was uh uh the name being mapped to the ip address okay so here what happens if you look carefully here you will see that it is used to map an address to a name so just the reverse thing all this time we were mapping the name to the address but sometimes we have to do the reverse where we have to map the address to the name so in that case that's reverse thing happening so that is why the name is inverse domain all right so here when a server received a request from the client to do a task okay so certain task has to be done so in that case we need to find the ip address so ip address then that ID has to map to the name so that is why the reversing is happening and it is known as inverse a domain okay when the server has received a request from the client and the server contains the files of only authorized clients now everyone cannot do inverse domain the client has to have the rights okay so those having the rights can do the inverse mapping all right uh, so it sends the query and then after the query is being taken by the dns server it can map the address the reverse thing address to the name okay so in that case it is termed as 
here in verse domain, the third category. All right. Now let us, so we have understood what did, uh, DNS does. Now next is how does it work working up. So again, we'll uh, relook at it. Okay, DNS, we know it's a client server network communication. DNS clients, now clients are people asking, requesting. Okay, send the request to the server. And then we have this DNS server, which will see what is being requested and accordingly send the responses that we know. Okay, next is uh, the client request contain a name, which is converted. Now we know that that URL has a name, okay, at English name. So that has to be mapped to the IP address, okay. And that mapping is known as, <coughs> where is it, forward DNS lookup, while request containing an IP address which is converted into a name is reverse. As we just looked at the inverse domain, it's reverse DNS. If you are going from IP, uh, from the name to IP, it is called forward DNS. And if you are going, going from uh, IP to name, it is called reverse DNS lookups. Lookup means to request. All right. The next is DNS implements a distributed database to store the name of all the hosts available on the internet. So everything is not stored in one particular database. It is diff, uh, uh, looking at the different types of the uh, host. Okay. The, the the purpose of the host. It is uh, it is kept in distributed database format. It is not localized. All right. The next is if a client like a web browser sends a request, we know client, the job of the client is to request, okay, a request containing a host name, then we uh, need uh, this DNS resolver, this is a, part, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a small program, okay, and the job of this program, resolver, sends a request to the server, okay, server and um, if the, the that request page, requested page is there, then it results it gives back but if the if the, it doesn't contain that material which is being asked for okay then it forwards the request to another server if you remember the diagram okay from one server it if it is not found in the server it is sent to another server okay so it is the job of this dns resolver to do that okay to see where it is and if i has arrived at the resolver which in turn completes the request over the internet so it is from one server to another it will search and once it gets the required material okay it completes the request and with the help of this internet protocol okay so that is why that program that software is known as dns resolver to resolve for the requested web page all right then <coughs> so that concludes our dns note please go through the note okay understand and listen to this video properly all right thank you